Well, they say you are what you eat. I guess that's why our wives call us pigs. <laughs> Two bald guys eat stuff and talk about it. All right, so Dave and I make our return to lunch meat. A few months ago, we had a taste test on what the best uh, turkey breast mm -hmm. was, and what we found out that was these two brands had a tie. Yeah, that's right. We looked back and verified our results. <laughs> so we had Lander Frost Premium and then the Deli Fresh made by Oscar Meyer. Um, they set themselves apart from the lunch meats from a turkey breast standpoint, but now we're going to go back and test ham. Uh, so we have eight different varieties of ham. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a blind taste test. We don't know what brand we're trying, so if these two come out on top, it's because they really are the best. It's that's not right. because we're giving them any preferential treatment. Mm -mm. Uh, so again, we got eight brands, rank them on a scale of one to ten, let you know how they taste and which ones you guys should be buying at home. So what are you going to be looking for in a ham? In a ham, it has to have uh, rich flavor, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt, I don't want too much, Right. and um, I think tender and juicy. Yep, make it taste like you got something that's pretty fresh. Just right? fresh sliced, yes. Yep. And no uh, like added preservative aftertaste. Maybe a little like smoky that. flavor. Yep. Alright, number one. And no bread today, we're just going straight lunch meat. Mm. That's a pretty good start. Um, yeah. Wow. It wasn't real apparent at first, but... Mm -hmm. Now you got into it, the really good salt content, the mm. texture of it, I feel like it isn't, doesn't have a lot of filler. No. Like it's straight meat. It's not rubbery. This is, this is hoggish. We're going to be full after this, I think. <laughs> this is really good. Wow, the, the fat mm. in this. Fat yeah. equals flavor, as yeah. we've proven from our USDA Choice Beef kind of campaign. Right. Um, but this is, uh, wow. This is a good start. I'll start out with a, wow. ooh, man. I'll go eight and a half. I got room to go up, but. Um, yeah, I totally agree. We're going to have big cankles again. <laughs> Two. This one has a little more uh, noticeable. Yeah, the texture um, on this one is, is, it's thinner, but you can still see the fat yeah. in there. Marbling. That's what I was trying to get at. Or marble. Hmm. Another good one. Mm -hmm. I think that's even um, more ham flavor in this one. I think it's more smoky flavor on this yeah. one too. And it looks fresh sliced. Mm -hmm. So not as mm. um, not as thick as the one we just had, so you probably have to put more pieces on your sandwich. Um, fine by me. <laughs> not quite as much salt content as the one that we just had. Mm -hmm. It's still pretty good flavor. Not as tender as the one we just had. Yeah. I think this one I'll go in eight. It's okay. just not quite as good as that first one, but mm -hmm. it's good. I'm right there with you. Um, yeah, I think I'll step down to an eight. This one is a little bit sweeter, mm -hmm. but sweet isn't necessarily something I want on my lunch meat sandwich. No, not always. Trace? Number three. This one, again, has a pretty good fat content. Mm -hmm. You can see from the marbling. Looks like the last one. It's interesting how each one of these has their own different spin. This one is a little chewier. Mm-hmm. Higher salt content, mm -hmm. kind of like the first one. Not quite as much smoky flavor. Uh uh. It's still pretty good ham. I don't run into too much ham that I don't like. <laughs> That's true. Hmm. <laughs> it's going to be a tough taste test. Mm. Yeah, we're going to be stuck at. Hmm. <laughs> um, I'll stick it at eight for that one. Yeah. It, it reminds me of that last one, so I'll just go in eight. This one, not quite as much um, marbling or like rich ham mm -mm. coloring. Ooh. I like the texture. You like that? Mm hmm. It's a little gritty for me. Is it? It's not as thin, thinly sliced. Right. Um, <laughs> not quite as much smoky flavor to it either. Mm hmm. I like the chew on it. Um, yeah, it just doesn't have quite. Not the flavor punch. That smoke. Right. Salt contents dropped. Mm hmm. Um, it's not really that sweet yeah, either. Right. Not much punch. Yeah. Um, what are you going to give it? Seven. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll go with six and a half for that one. All right, number five. This one looks like a. It's got the different color skin on it, like a mm -hmm. Angus ham or what do they call those? Black. Black forest. Black forest. Hmm. Smells sweet. Um, a little peppery on the back end after you swallow. Yeah. We haven't come across a flavor like this before. Mm hmm. Smoky. Right. It I does like, make it stand out. I like the texture. Pieces but, are a little small. Right. They're pretty thin. Paper thin. Um, um, I don't I, I'm gonna do seven and a half. Okay. Uh, I'll probably do a seven for that one. <laughs> As we keep eating it. <laughs> nah, no. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> Number six. I'm not, this is really, really thin, so this yep. is like see through. This reminds me of when you make, make a Dagwood sandwich and you gotta really stack it. Really the, stack it. Stack the meat. Salt, salt content's pretty high. They get that right off the bat. Mm-hmm. 
Not a lot of smokiness. Yeah, it's pretty much all salt. It's just, yeah, it's kind of there. Mm. It's meat-ish. It's like a loaf. Mm. Kind of um, underwhelming. I'll go back down to a six and a half for that one. Yeah, I agree. All right, number seven. Ooh, this looks nice. This is a thick one here. Pretty sizable amount of pig. It's a sweet. It's got a pretty sweet flavor to it, too. Good so this job. one's um, good, chewier. Good, yeah, it's got a good chew on it. It's not flimsy. It's not mm -hmm. um, overly salty. Not gritty. I will say others have had a, a more smoky, more elaborate flavor. This one's kind of sweet. Hmm. I had high hopes for that one, the mm -hmm. way it looked. It doesn't elaborate on the palate mm -hmm. like I thought it would. I think it's just missing a little smoke. Yeah. The salt is right. How are you going to grade it? Mm. Seven. Okay. I'll be right there with you. I like the seven. All right. Number eight. Last one. Another really, really thin one. Yep. Looks can be deceiving now. Hmm. That's interesting. Almost like a salami or something like that. Mm -hmm. A little of a bologna summer sausage taste. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a right. little different spice than the other ones did. Hmm. I'm not sure it tastes like ham. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's lunch meat-ish, but not it's, necessarily ham. I like it, but based on ham. Right. That's yeah, not what you think of when stacking a ham, ham and cheese sandwich. So I, I would do a, I'll do a seven on that one. Yeah. Seven. All right, you're trying all eight brands. We have a winner. Hillshire Farms Ultra Thin uh, Smoked Ham. And uh, probably maybe one of the first times that we've done this, it was the first one that we tried and it was the best the very tasting. Very first one. Yeah, usually we reserve those for the end, mm -hmm. but uh, this one stood up. Wowed us right off the beginning. Yeah, so we had trouble grading it because we wanted to leave room for improvement, but it could have been where we might have graded a higher if it wasn't number one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Hillshire Farms had a great yep. taste, a smoky flavor, it was sweet, uh, had a little salt content, and the texture of it. That, that's what all differentiated. It uh, smells really good too when you open it up. This is the one I call origami ham because it's, <laughs> it's folded all pretty in the package. <laughs> and But you can see it's uh, nice big slices, had good salt content, Smoky flavor. And it seemed like it was fresh. Yeah. We got a tie at second. Um, and surprise, <laughs> it was a surprise. winner from the turkey breast taste of Deli Fresh from Oscar Meyer and Atlanta Frost Premium. Uh, so again, second place, they tasted really similar what they we did. noticed in the taste test. Yeah. That's kind of odd, but yeah, these guys repeated themselves back at the top. It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> so again, that's just the two ball guys, uh, preference of the taste test. Yep. Do your own experimentation at home and let us know what you guys like. Uh, well, this is the ham, we've done the turkey. Maybe up next we'll do chicken. Buck, buck. Two bald guys eat stuff and talk about it.